Developing tonight, Philadelphia police are searching for answers after a man and a woman were both shot in broad daylight. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Greg Payne. Neighbors say this shooting may have stemmed from a case of road rage. Our Cheyenne Corinne reports from police headquarters. While the woman who was shot, she's expected to physically recover, but the man, he's in the hospital fighting for his life. Now, these two people, they were shot while inside of the car, so neighbors in Nicetown, they suspect that this may have been an incident of road rage. Caution, It's happening more frequently, you know, in Philadelphia, but, uh, you know, we got to get a grip on this crime out here. Um, it don't make no sense. Around 2.30 this afternoon, Philly police were called to the Nicetown neighborhood on Windrum Ave for a double shooting. When they arrived, they found a 32-year-old woman shot in the elbow and a 30-year-old man shot in the chest. Don't nobody want to fight no more. Like, you know, you know, back in the day, you know, you know, we had a dispute, we'd get into a fight. You know, now everybody's so emotional. Preston Davis works with the Philadelphia Anti-Drug, Anti-Violence Network and is from the neighborhood. He came to the scene following the shooting and heard this was possibly an incident of road rage. Witnesses told Fox 29 the victims were found inside this black Ford. When you got kids in a car and people, you know, you know, want to kill you over, you know, you might have crossed me over in a lane. It's, it's not that deep. And this shooting possibly stemming from road rage doesn't surprise Davis as he says this is a busy roadway and he sees a lot of careless driving. You can see right there, uh, look, it, it, it just was a car accident right there. You see that? Because see, cars got an inch up from off of Cortland and they can't really see what's coming from around Windrum. And you see that just, just that fast. It's, uh, it almost got deep. Philly police say the victim is stable but the man is in critical condition. This was a tragedy, so I hope that they, you know, come and be able to, you know, survive, you know, this attack. You know, I'm going to keep him in my prayers, and um, I just hope him and his family make it out safe. Now, at this time, no suspects have been arrested. There also haven't been any weapons recovered, but if you have any information about what happened, you're asked to contact police. I'm at police headquarters. I'm Cheyenne Karen, Fox 29 News.